So we're here in a, st- in a soil pit that was uh, dug yesterday by a backhoe at uh, Steve and Judy's farm. And basically, again, as we talked about earlier, it's been very droughty here. So you can tell by the sides of this pit that you know it dried up very, very quickly after the backhoe was in here. But there are several things that are very important that I want to point out. One is that if uh, if we chip along the sides of these walls with our shovel from what was dug yesterday, we find that we still have cool, moist soil here. So we're still holding moisture down deep in this soil in spite of this persistent drought. The other thing that I want to point out is the depth of a lot of these roots. So that's one of the things that we really get uh, a very, very large advantage from relative to the adaptive grazing practices and encouraging plant species diversity is we start to get roots that travel far, far deeper into the ground. And as we look around the soil pit, you can see that that is absolutely the case. So as we look down the walls of the soil pit, you'll see roots that are traveling to various steps within the soil. So we have roots here, and we even have roots that are extending all the way down to beyond two feet and even into three feet of the soil. Here's a root hair here penetrating down to three feet. So as we continue to sort of scrape away the sides of the wall here, you know, we're continuing to find some really encouraging root depths. You can see here, here are some roots, and, and actually even here, we've got some little aggregates hanging on to these root hairs. So even down at this level, we're starting to build aggregates on, on our roots and in association with our roots. So that's very encouraging, and that's certainly something that we want to see. So as we place roots deeper and deeper in the ground, we're doing a whole host of things for us. One is, obviously, we are creating channels for water to penetrate much deeper in the soil. Roots have associations with microbes, as we know. And so as we put roots deeper in the ground, we're actually building a much bigger house for our microbes. If our average root depth was only six to 10 inches, then all of our microbial population is going to be here. But as we build roots deeper and deeper into the soil, three foot and below, now we're building a much more substantial microbial population. And we can see the evidence of that by the fact that on a lot of these deeper roots, we're actually seeing some soil aggregates clinging to these roots. This is, this is obviously what we're looking for. This is what Steve and Judy are trying to encourage. And I, w- I would encourage everybody at some point just to, just to do a soil pit on your farm and take an assessment of where you are currently. Find out what your average root depth is and how far are some of your, your plant species penetrating so that you know where you are and then what you need to build to.